Now, this is your secret weapon to get these wonderful stories. You call up your five best clients, those that you use as a reference. You call and say, even if you're leaving a voicemail, Bob, I never get tired of telling the story about how we improved your productivity of your sales force, how we, whatever it is you do for your clients. Would you mind telling me in your words what your experience was? Did we beat your expectations? Did we exceed your expectations? Did we come in under budget? And with your permission, I'd like to make an appointment and just get your reference. Just talk to you. Don't worry, we'll have it transcribed after if I may re record it. And can I use you as an example in my sales presentations? If you've got satisfied clients, they're not going to mind. They probably love to be in part of your sales presentations. That's how you get your wonderful stories and you get the actual dialogue of what they're saying. Now, I bet if you look at your marketing materials, you already have that in quotes, what they have said, edited and dramatized. For example, my clients are going to be a lot more impressed with what other clients say. For example, Dave Larson of ADP said, Patricia Fripp is the best. She keynoted our major client conference, Meeting of the Minds, and was a hit, not only as an opening keynoter, but also for conducting half of the 10 best breakout sessions. Our clients judged the 115 presentations and voted Patricia's five breakouts in the first, second, third, seventh, and 10th place. Based on the incredible feedback, we've invited her back and ADP has engaged her for speech coaching, our session speakers, and training our salespeople. Now, isn't that impressive? I am not reporting. This is exactly what he wrote and what he said. Needless to say, that quote will stay on my website forever just as yours will. So why don't we do a quick review? One, you know, doesn't matter what you say. What do they care about? You are going to focus on your emotional and intellectual connection with your prospects. You are going to forget the PowerPoint that you're now delivering for this point. You are going to whiteboard or flip chart or in a yellow pad what's going in the presentation and you're going to reorganize it around a central premise that your prospect is better off doing business with your company for these three very specific reasons. And the three specific reasons are based on the questions you ask them and you know of all your great benefits, what is of most interest to them. Then once you've got it together, you come out what is a good way to open, a good way to close. You are going to populate your presentation with flesh and blood characters, just like your prospects, who articulate this specific problem, what was the solution, and in their words, what was the success. I recommend, as part of your regular staff meetings and sales meetings, you make communication skills and storytelling a very important part. With many of my clients, even if they are having virtual sales meetings, every meeting, at least one or two people tell a happy client story. And this is important, especially when you have new hires that don't have their own stories. They need to learn, because they are company stories, they need to learn the stories that the other salespeople are telling. So once we've got this together, now let's look at what is going to make what could be a good presentation great.